It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> Guys, we got water boom. Uh, we are back in action. We are reunited. Um, and we are gonna tackle a long short list of, of um, projects on the bus. So I've been hanging out here for uh, several weeks and uh, we have uh, Jennifer who uh, keeps coming by and eats the plums off of the tree there. Uh, I bought some, uh, as you can see, very friendly, sniffing for, uh, I feed them sunflower seeds because uh, I guess that's what you can do. But anyways, hey Jennifer. Hey guys, we are going to keep it short and sweet. This is my to-do list. And we're gonna try the ones with the stars or uh, more important. So long story short, we're gonna get to work. All right, boys and girls, here is the update. This piece right here will be covering up the foam. That'll be the last we will ever see the foam. Uh, we have this piece, a uh, vertical piece right here, actually drying. We got a little putty on it right outside, uh, sitting on top of a paint can. Uh, to the right, we have the floor trim, which is gonna be white. And that will go around all these little spots here. Uh, we are working on the vertical trim piece right here, right here, and right here. Tomorrow I will be staining the doors. Uh, Eric will probably router them. I might give it a shot. Um, but we'll be doing four individual doors, so double doors here, double doors here. This is the cover for the uh, monitor there. And I don't know if I painted that, if that's just prime. I'll have to take this outside and check, but uh, that's going on. We got a bunch of little jobs in here. All right, here's the midway update. We got the doors out. We're gonna install the doors. Uh, I'm gonna have to, actually, I should stain those, huh, in a little yeah. bit? Yep. Okay, got confirmation on that. We have this part uh, uh, nailed in here. This is just a little trim piece. We have a little corner trim piece, corner trim piece, trim piece, I uh, just whitewashed that. Let's run up here to the front. Uh, we got shocks on these, so if I need to lift up, it, it'll it'll kind of hold itself up a little bit. Uh, let's run outside and see what else is going on. Oh yeah, the, uh, the chase. Is, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot. Before we run outside, this uh, wire thing here is done. We got a little screw point here, screw point here, in case you need to pop it off and uh, uh, address any wires. We got this part up here. Just uh, gonna touch that up, obviously. Uh, we also got uh, some, um, what is this, step uh, step trim, step molding, I'm not really sure what it's called, but uh, this looks nice and clean now, so uh, no exposed edges. This has been my little workstation here. I got the, um, this is for the RV window, uh, passenger side, stained that, sealed that, whitewashed uh, by the bedroom, some trim there. This is for the uh, electrical solar part by the back bed. This is for the floor, um, that's just uh, the floor trim. These are all my boxes, my storage that has been inside the bathroom uh, and under the rear. I had five of these things in the back of the bus and uh, two of the small ones, my little tool things. We got Wander Boom the Magician. Uh, we are, uh, well he's uh, washing up, or sanding up some uh, trim to put on the Skylight area. We have a nice little design for that. Water Boom is a freaking genius. <laughs> Comes out of nowhere with these great ideas. So we're going to do some kind of combination of uh, this trim plus a little of that trim. I got to stain that as well. Kind of like that. And that will be the inside of the skylight. This is what I've been working on. Had a little delay today. But uh, put on coat number two of the uh, uh, waterproofing sealer. Got four of these total. These are going to be my closet doors, bathroom doors. Wonder Boom's working on a bunch of things with me. Pre-drilling some holes for the uh, self-tapping screws to do their thing up here. And uh, again, we've got these L-shaped L-shaped uh, trim pieces that will both you know, cover up the ugliness here and help hold up the uh, thin cedar that's on there. So pre-drilled everything, and now 
push it up there. I'm gonna give him a hand in a second. Yep, I can, all I need to do is uh, get a... That's one nice thing about pre-drilling is that once you, once it's in place, you don't have to yeah. worry about the screw popping around on you. So for anybody who didn't hear me before, <laughs> don't use this kind of cedar on the roof. Yeah, Get yeah. half inch. All right, so pushing up nice and firm. Ooh, look at all these eyesores that disappeared. I don't have to look at this ugly ass thing. I don't have to look at that ugly ass thing. I don't have to look at this ugly ass thing. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Look at this, look at this. Now, I don't have to see this dipping down thing on the ceiling anymore, because that's held up. Oh, guys, water boom, fucking genius right here. Holy moly, this is looking amazing. This is looking great, man. So what do you have for the middle part there? Yep. Well, Fab the little piece? Ripped, yeah, I ripped off the chunk of this. I ripped that edge off since we have to follow the curve. So now I'll just be kind of custom fitting one across the face, and then we'll just need a little thin little strip to kind of match that detail yep. across on the ends. And Excellent. Be going. Excellent. There we have it, guys. We are almost done with this thing. Uh, one more day of work, and then visually everything should be together. A little update here, ladies and gentlemen. We have, for the first time in my school bus, functioning doors. <laughs> yeah. With the, uh, at all, everything matches here. You know, the, the hardware, this stuff. We have uh, Wander Boom the Master. If anybody needs some help with their bus build, van build, little small little jobs, big jobs, give them a call. Wander Boom on Instagram. Wander Booming on Instagram. On Instagram. That's right. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna work on. Well, Wander Boom is gonna work on uh, door number two. Let me show you what I am installing for my fridge. My amazing, incredible Dominic fridge, which only sips on my 12 volt. Uh, power overnight. I wake up every morning, the fridge is on, the two, two fans back here, and that fan up there, and all I'm missing on my battery monitor, hid behind here, is normally I'm missing 10 amp hours overnight, which is nothing. Alright guys, this is how I'm going to cool down my fridge. We have holes on the side, like so. That is to uh, exhaust the hot air from the fridge compressor going down there there are two holes let me show you what they are for this is a dual fan uh, this is on my Amazon store if you want to uh, get the same one I did it comes with a temperature control automatic setting at a certain temperature it will turn on the fan at a certain temperature it will turn off the fan set it and forget it just like the uh, uh, infomercials bada bing bada boom this is what I'm talking about guys we got some doors now huh so, there we go. This is to get into the uh, shower bathroom. We got hinges uh, or handles on the inside as well. So you can close the door when you're inside. And of course, open and close when you're on the outside. This one here is done. No inside handles needed on this guy, <laughs> obviously. Uh, what else? Oh, we got the fridge back in here. I'll show you that in a sec. Wonder Boom is putting a little uh, shock on the uh, uh, bench here to, to keep it in an up position. If anybody wants to come over and play a game of golf, well, come on over. <laughs> there we got the magician at work. I'm going to give him a hand. When I say a hand, it literally just one hand. That's all you get, buddy. <laughs> all right. So this is... What, uh, what is this uh, called again? Um, it's, well, it's kind of a tiny crown molding, basically. It's not really a cove molding, and it's not really a, a quarter round or anything. It's just got a real tiny little uh, crown look to it. Finishing strip, I guess you could call it. Yeah. Something like that. So if anybody's like me and they uh, don't have the skills to build a bus by themselves, hit up Wander Booming <laughs> on Instagram and uh, he will come by mobile. How cool is that? A mobile fixer-upper. That's right. <laughs> I, uh, or you can watch the our van build videos on uh, Wander Boom and uh, see how we did our show. There we go. Link, uh, I'll put the link in description. Guys, we're wrapped up with all the things that I couldn't do because I didn't have the tools. 
I just want to say thanks to uh, Eric and Robin for swinging by. Uh, if you guys didn't already know, Eric is one of my success stories. Uh, as a result of his generosity and helping other people out, he's been in my videos and Bob's videos. And uh, basically we met uh, and uh, all he said was, I just, I just want uh, some work and this and that. And he's been booked out all of 2019. Uh, as a result of uh, the videos. Yeah, yeah, it's been amazing. I mean, I, I was telling Jack, he was like the linchpin for all of this yeah, stuff. You know, definitely. it's like, you know, we met him in, in Colorado, and then, yeah, next thing you know, it was like snowballing. All of a sudden, we're, you know, yeah, hanging out with Bob Wells and uh, yeah. have tours on all these YouTube tours all over. And, uh, and, Chris and yeah, and, and now we've got tons and tons of people lined up for work. And so thanks, everybody. And uh, yeah, and thanks, amazing. Jacks, man. Yeah. And, uh, well, thank you. It's been such an awesome day. ride so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's so, more to come, too. Yeah. So if this is, if this could be a, a, a lesson that people could learn here is that uh, through generosity and uh, and just you know caring for others you yourself you know will, will receive you know just like the karma so uh, dude thanks again for all the stuff and uh, we'll be seeing you guys hopefully in a couple of weeks That's right. oh yeah all right we'll do some fun camping then all right <laughs>